Well, a new report by the United Nations says global hunger is on the rise. Here's Africa 54's health correspondent, Lino Madu. The Sustainable Development Goal number two aims to end all forms of hunger and malnutrition by the year 2030. However, a report released recently by the United Nations shows that global hunger is on the rise. Stefan Dujarek is a spokesperson for the Secretary General of the United Nations. After years of progress, the report finds that the number of hungry people around the world is on the rise. This signals a reversal of trends and could undermine efforts at reaching zero hunger by 2030. The report was prepared by several agencies, including the World Food Program, the Food and Agriculture Organization, and the World Health Organization. It shows an increase of 38 million in the number of people facing hunger worldwide. The report also finds that about 155 million children aged under five are stunted, and 52 million suffer from wasting, meaning their weight is too low for their height. These worsening figures are also directly linked to the increase in conflicts around the world and to places where there is conflict in floods and droughts. <coughs> Food insecurity has worsened, especially in parts of sub-Saharan Africa, Southeast Asia, and Western Asia. The report states that there is a high risk of famine occurring in conflict-affected places, namely Northeast Nigeria, Somalia, and Yemen. It also adds that droughts or floods linked in part to the El Nino weather phenomenon, as well as the global economic slowdown, have also resulted in food and nutrition and security, even in regions that are more peaceful. In the Ethiopia's Somali region, rains have failed for the third consecutive year, leading to a devastating drought that left its people experiencing emergency levels of hunger. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization says about 2 million animals have died here since the end of last year, crippling herding communities. What we are trying to do here is to save lives. And here, save lives of a community of pastorals means also save their animals. Because without their animals, they will not have uh, milk for their children. The children also will die or suffer it. One thing is for sure, we cannot just continue going by a project approach. We have, as not only three of us, the three agencies, what I will call the whole development community, has to really look at ways. Obviously, we need to have much more synergy between the different actions. We saw colleagues from different uh, NGOs as well. But globally, we need to scale up. The United Nations says close to 17 million people across the Horn of Africa need humanitarian aid due to drought, including 2.6 million in Kenya and 3.2 million in Somalia. Lenore Moudou, VOA News, Washington.